The electric guitar, obviously a musical instrument. But why electric? Because it transforms the vibrations of the strings into electric current. And it's this current that's sent to the amplifier. To produce music, the electric guitar makes electricity. So how does it work? Here is the most important part of an electric guitar, the pickups. They're the ones that transform the string's vibrations into electricity, so they can be sent to an amplifier for everyone to hear. But to understand it, let's take it apart. While the body of the guitar contributes to the look of the instrument, it doesn't contribute a whole lot to the sound. That's because it's solid, unlike an acoustic guitar which is hollow. The neck of the electric guitar is fixed to its solid body with four screws. Along the neck are frets. At the far end, the head, where the strings are wrapped around the tuning pegs. The strings are metal for a reason. Their magnetic properties interact with the pickups. And it's this magnetic interaction that creates the electric current that will be amplified to unleash the sound of the instrument. At the body end of the strings is the bridge and a metal lever. Attached to the bridge are three springs set into the back of the guitar. The lever is known as the whammy bar. It loosens or tightens the strings to create a tremolo effect. But that is nothing compared to the amazing performance of the pickups, turning mechanical vibrations into electricity. The pickups are basically six magnets wrapped with a very fine copper wire coil. The wire is thinner than a human hair and wound around the magnet 7,200 times. Uncoiled, it would stretch the length of around eight football pitches. These knobs control volume and tone. And this is the pickup selector switch. The tone knob acts as a kind of filter. It works with a capacitor built into the circuit board. It gets rid of high frequencies, giving the guitar a warmer, fuller sound. But tone and volume mean nothing if you can't hear a thing. The pickups are key. They really pick up the string's vibes so they can be amplified. All this using only a few magnets and a coil. The pickup's magnets produce a stable magnetic field. That is until the guitar is strummed and the vibrating metal strings disturb the field, inducing an electric current in the coil. The current fluctuates in keeping with the movement of the metal strings. So if you put the A string, it vibrates at 440 cycles a second, or 440 hertz, and that will induce an electric current of the same frequency in the pickup. So what does the pickup selector switch do? Well, to get a particular sound, guitarists can choose one or a combination of pickups. The pickup closest to the bridge, where string tension is high, picks up high frequency sounds. The pickup closer to the neck, where tension is less, registers more bass. But the electric guitar is nothing without an amp. In fact, the amplifier is considered part of the instrument. Unplugged, the two-volt current from the string's vibrations won't get power cords to the back of the stadium. It needs a boost, first by a preamp and then by the amp itself. And the louder it gets, the more distortion. Guitar amps are built to enhance distortion. The incoming electric current overpowers the circuitry and brings out the buzz. It can be so loud, it can actually cause the strings on the guitar to vibrate, setting off screeching feedback. Now that is a buzz. Surprisingly, to produce music, the electric guitar makes electricity, thanks to the laws of electromagnetism.